Now that you've generated the code for the WordPress child theme, you need to go to your email and find the email that contains the code. This email should be titled, Here is your WordPress child theme. If you don't see the email in your inbox, you may want to check your spam folder. Once you've located the email, open up Notepad or some other text editor. For this video, I'm using Notepad, which comes installed with Windows 7 operating system. Now that you have the text editor open, cut and paste the code from the email. Everything contained in the email is part of the child theme, so make sure that you copy and paste the entire email into Notepad. Now click Save As. Under the File Name field, you will need to name this file style.css. Save it to your desktop or a folder on your computer where you can easily find it. Now you'll need to log into the cPanel of your server files. If you have a website and a hosting service provider, you should already know how to do this. Once you have the cPanel open, find the section of your cPanel titled Files and now click on the folder that says File Manager. Find the domain name that you're wanting to add the child theme to and click on it. Once you see the core files for the website, click on the file that says WP Content. Then click on the file that says Themes. Now add a new folder and title it what you title the child theme when you use the generator. In this case, it will be titled Suffusion-Child. Now create the new folder. You should now see an empty directory. This means that you're inside of the empty folder. Now you'll click on the folder that says Upload. Browse to the files on your desktop and find the style.css file that you created in the previous video. When you click on the file, it should automatically upload the file to the empty folder. In the next video, you'll learn how to activate the WordPress child theme and edit the child theme within WordPress.